My name is Steve Rudgel, and today I'm thinking about, well, names. <laughs> you know, sometimes you have nicknames, and sometimes you're given a name, and depending on where you live and how well known your family is, sometimes you have expectations because of your last name. Sometimes you get a first name given to you because they're hope, <laughs> hopeful expectations you'll live up to it. My parents named me Stephen after the great preacher in Acts, and I'm a preacher, so... You know, sometimes it happens. Sometimes you get nicknames that stick. And so I've been thinking a lot about it. We had a cow one time named Bones. A skinny, scrawny cow. But every time we had a calf who couldn't get on its mother, we put her on Bones. And those calves fattened up and it was great. And I always wondered, <laughs> such so different than her nickname. You know, you have names in the Bible. Barnabas. An encourager, and he lived up to that name. Philip, whose nickname is the Evangelist, and he lived up to that name. You know, I like names. I like nicknames. I like people that get names. I'm excited that someday we're going to have a name on our forehead in heaven, and Jesus names us. I, there are so many great things about names. If you don't like your name, you can change what your name stands for. If your name is typically been represented by people in your family that are one way, you can be a different way. And we do carry around the name of Christian if we're believers, and we want to live up to that. So I think it's always an interesting thing to just ask you, if people were going to look at your life and give you a nickname, what would it be? Encourager? Evangelist? What, what would your nickname be? If people were going to put the name on your forehead that really reflected your heart, what would it be? And when people hear your name, what do they think of? And so I'm just going to tell you to cut to the chase. I'm glad I'm named after a famous preacher in the Bible. I'm glad my name stands for things. And my kids have elevated my name a lot because they're better people than I am. But I'm going to tell you the name I really want. When people hear my name, here's what I want them to think. I want them to think about Jesus. I, want, I don't care if people ever remember my name, but I do want them to remember Jesus. And if anything, I want people to hear Steve Ridgell and think, well, that guy's this or that, but i tell you one thing. He sure does love Jesus and love to talk about him. So when people hear your name, what do they think? This is Steve Ridgell saying, talk about Jesus. And when people hear your name, Let's make sure they think first about Jesus.